James, thank you for having us no again. Problem at all. Yeah, in your busy schedule. So nice how to finally be here. Wow, man, I'm very, very, very happy that, that the UFC finally came to the Netherlands. And about this this week, the schedule. How, how does a fight week look for you? It's I'm I'm in the fortunate position of of, of having a fantastic team that, that arrange a lot of the stuff that I have to do. So it's uh, it's great. I I I'm kind of involved in just making sure that, that everything runs according to plan and any issues that anybody has, uh, we can resolve them quickly and make sure that things run as smoothly as they possibly can for the arena and for the fighters or production crew. So uh, everything seems to be going quite well at this time. So I'm focusing most of my time on doing some commercial meetings, meeting with some uh, broadcast partners, doing all the things, kissing some babies and shaking some hands. <laughs> Sounds great. So um, about a UFC event, of course, as you said, yeah, there are a lot of departments, a lot of people working on uh, creating such an event. Yeah. Could you describe like globally the process of creating a UFC event? So what 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 ingredients does it have to make such a event? Well, it, it all starts from when we when we kind of have an analysis of which markets we want to go to. So as you know, the Netherlands has been on our been on our radar for a long time. We've been trying to figure out the best way of getting here, uh, the best commercial model to and the best arena to come to. You know, what do the ticket prices need to be? So there's a lot of research that we that we go through to to establish the foundations of what we're going to do. And then we sit down as a as a as a business in uh, in Vegas and discuss the schedule find out where the broadcast slots are, which obviously dovetail around our pay-per-view dates, figure out where best to slot in some European events, where best to put the Brazilian events, and then as soon as that's done, we go and find arenas, we sign the arena contracts, and then we, we uh, the, the marketing and, and, and PR and comms team and uh, put together a, a, a go-to-market strategy and we get the tickets on sale. Thankfully in Europe, we've been selling out, which has been good news for us. So we're doing something right. Um, and then we, and then the, the production team roll in to, to build the show. And you've been to our shows before. It takes a lot of work to make stuff look that easy. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. There's some very talented people and a lot of hard work, a lot of, a lot of manpower, a lot of hours, and a lot of hard work from people puts all these shows together. Yeah. As you said, uh, it's been a good year for the Emir region, for the UFC, and for us as a, uh for the fans. Um, if you think about this year so far, what can we expect more this year for the UFC in your region, our region? We're, we're, we're definitely looking to have a, a couple more events. Um, we're going we're gonna to make some announcements short, shortly. Um, it's, it's an exciting time for us, like you say. The, the events are, this is our fifth consecutive sellout in Europe, so that always helps us when we're trying to do more of these uh, and we're trying to get those dates in the diary. Um, you know, commercial success is, is what we're looking for, you know, we're trying to grow this business and grow this sport. So every time we do it, it makes it easier for us to, to get more of it. So we're excited with the direction that the business is taking. And I think European MMA has never been stronger. So it's, uh, it's good news all around for, for fans and for us alike. Yeah. Um, one thing we notice about this uh, card, and normally if you go to a new country, you sign up new fighters. Mm -hmm. And it's probably not your uh, department, but um, what, it, what does um, like Dutch fighters have to do to get into the UFC? Because we were actually everybody was hoping to get some new like debutants. Is that good? Yeah, 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 debutants too. Uh, to, to, yeah, to, to, to show what they uh, mm -hmm. what they have. So, what do you, what is your advice for upcoming Dutch fighters to get on a UFC card? I think just just keep keep doing what they're doing. You know, obviously try and get some fight experience wherever you can. I know it's it's not always the easiest thing to do to to find uh, well organized and well run promotions who can who can give you a platform upon which to perform. But we we're we're watching. Um, you know, we we have a, a a network of people who are who are looking out for fighters. Obviously, Sean Shelby and Joe Silva are the best in the business at signing fighters and, and putting fights together. So they're they're aware of everyone who's who's up and coming. People may not know it, but but Joe and Sean are watching, which isn't as sinister as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, so um, as you know, we we started out as a as a fan page, as a UFC yep. fan page, and we see a lot of other. European fan page coming up right now. It's like uh, you, UFC. You started a trend, you see. Yeah, 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 we did. But and I, I'm just wondering, how do you actually look at those fan pages as well to see, like, to to measure the popularity? Absolutely. You know, look, we we we've, we've obviously been talking for a long time yeah. and backwards and forwards with various various people over the years, and you've been <laughs> banging on the door. Um, we do listen. You know, I think that's that's one of the key things that, that obviously is uh, we like to reinforce is. You know, Zagreb were calling for an event for a long time, um, and that whole region next to Yugoslavia. You know, it's it's a 
it's, it's a big market for, for mixed martial arts and for combat sport. It's calling for a UFC event, it took us a long time to get there, we went there. Same thing with the Netherlands, you know, we, we do watch, we do listen. Um, this is, you know, we're, we're a very open business in terms, of, in terms of, you know, anyone with a good idea and a good proposal will we'll listen to it and see whether it makes sense for us and we'll, we'll do it. We can move very quickly and, you know, it's, uh, I promised you a couple of years ago that we would get it done and we have. So it's, uh, it's definitely worthwhile the fans, you know, making their voices heard because we are listening. Okay. So um, in the Netherlands, um, before the UFC came to the, this country, um, fighting in an octagon um, wasn't really uh, accepted. And, and MMA was accepted, but not in an octagon or in a cage or how do you want to call it. Um, could you explain to uh, the Dutch fans or explain in general why uh, a cage is safer than a ring? Sure, I mean, the, 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 it's, it's, it's relatively simple. Obviously, you, you see the way that obviously takedowns can occur and, and the different, um, the different uh, martial arts which are involved in the sport. It's as simple as it's there for people's safety. If, you, if you, someone's taken down, it's very easy for, for people to go through the ropes uh, of, a, of an ordinary boxing ring and, and then it's a, it's, a, it's a long way down to a very hard floor. So that's what we're trying to, obviously that's what the cage is there to avoid. It's, it's, to, to give people a safe environment in which to in which to participate in this sport, it's not to it's, it's to keep them in, but not to well, for the reasons people think. Yeah. Uh, uh, another question: uh, the MIA region, of course, is Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen in Europe, uh, Middle East, well, Zagreb is in the Middle enough. East. When is Africa coming? Um, Africa is something which I've, I've asked for and I've got some meetings today about Africa, so it's something that, that we're working on. There are two big holes in in our map at the moment: Russia and and Africa, and um. We're working very hard as a, as a team here in Europe to, to, to figure out both of those and, and to put our flag into those, con into those territories. So Africa's an important one. There's a, commercially, it's challenging at the moment because of the, the strength of the, of the currency, or, or weakness of the currency, I should say, um, which makes it difficult for us to, to make it make financial sense. But we're doing what we can, and, and um, you know, we're, we're looking to, to push this sport um, and our fighters into every corner of the globe. So. I don't want to leave any stones unturned. Great. Right. So, uh, of course, the big question that everybody wants to know, because uh, you know, UFC Rotterdam has received a lot of attention, mm -hmm. close to sold out, uh, or maybe sold maybe out. So it's sold out completely. Yeah. Sold out completely. So that's that's terrific. Is this enough attention for the UFC to come back next year? Uh, next year? Yeah. Or maybe this year? Next year. Next year. <laughs> this year. Next, next week. Ne <laughs> this, uh, next year. I'm not sure. We're still looking at we're still looking at our at our schedule and how things are going to fit in you know we we have a like i said earlier on it's a very complicated process to find a date um and then we need to find arenas who are available on that date so we'll uh we'll, we'll see how it shakes out for next year but we will definitely be coming back to the netherlands great great to hear. thank you very much no problem at all thanks for your support always